everyone and um so I'm back and I know I haven't filmed a video in a really long time um I've really missed it <laughs> um I've been really busy like I'm back at school now for a good few weeks well I'm back at school for ages now actually but two months um yeah I've been super busy with homework and I've just been managed to like get it all out and know when I'm doing my homework and then I'll have my free time and yeah so I managed to sort everything out now in videos. I'll be back up every other day, really. Um, only really have tutorials kind of once a week because of school every day, and so I won't be able to. I won't have the best lighting for tutorials at night time. So yeah. So today I'm going to be talking about my favourite and non-favourite um, lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, I have a few. Um, some of you might be quite shocked to hear that I kind of dislike. But yeah, what I've found is I've tried these now, I've had all of these, well most of them for a long, long, long time and um, so yeah, I'm going to get started and the first thing is, I'll start with the ones I like first, um, is a lip butter and it's from Kors and um, the Kors now, um, where my Kors, the new one to me, is um closed and this was this is usually like eight pounds I think and I got it for four and it's the pomegranate lip butter and um the lid is the colour and um it is absolutely gorgeous this is one of my favourite lip products to wear um comes in this cute little pot it's this colour here it's absolutely beautiful um it gives me the most amazing kind of pinky, orangey kind of colour to my lips and it's so easy to apply and it's really moisturised and I like to wear this a lot at school I like to just take this everywhere with me to be quite honest um, it is beautiful and it sits really nicely the next thing um, is my Estee Lauder lipstick and um, it's in the colour Berry Fizz don't know if you can see that but um, packaging is lovely um, the gold shiny bit can I can act it as a mirror. Oh. I'm looking at hiccups and um it looks like this <laughs> as you can see. I just like drink down now. I barely have any left, so I'll swatch this for you guys. The only kind of downfall with this is to get it really true to that bright pink in the tube. You do need to quite layer it a bit and um that's I think that's made this lipstick not last me as long as other lipsticks have last me is because uh, you do need to layer it quite a few times to get it the bright 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 pink if you want it to be that way so that's it there but I really do love this and I love how with this you don't need a gloss at all on top of it because it is glossy so yeah the next one is an MUA lipstick and this is in shade 3 um, this is the most, it's like a hair on it, this is like the most amazing bright bubblegum bubble gum pink colour that I've ever really, really come across for and it's a pound which is amazing. Um, this swatch, so that's it right there. Um, the only kind of downfall with this again is I don't really ha wear it that much as I would like to. I'm going to just try and make more use out of it because it is a beautiful colour. Next one is another MUA lipstick and this is in shade 13 and this one is a red and this is absolutely beautiful. This is like everyone should have their own kind of classic red that um, you can wear at any occasion that really suits your skin tone that flatters you perfectly and there is a red lipstick out there for everybody. Mine just so happens to be this one which is obviously amazing because it's only a pound. <laughs> So yep, I think that is now my second one of these because the first one is done. Um, but that's it there and it's absolutely beautiful and yep, it matches my skin tone perfectly. The next one is a Max Factor lipstick and it's in the colour Midnight Plum. And this is just a little sample. But this colour is absolutely gorgeous. I think if I use all this sample up, which I'm going to start wearing this out more, um, I will definitely go and purchase the full size because this is gorgeous. 
I'll swatch it for you. Um, it really is just your classic dark plum colour for your lips. And I absolutely love it. And the good thing is as well, it's really glossy, which I like about lipsticks if they've got a nice sheen to them more than matte lipsticks. The next one is a Rimmel, I think it's Rimmel Last and Finish Lipstick in pink blush. I'll show you the colour of the bottom. I don't think you'll probably be able to read it, but yeah. So this again is another bubblegum pink colour, but it is not as bright as the MUA one. This is more like in a Barbie pink, as I would describe it. But it is gorgeous and I really, really, really enjoy wearing this lipstick out. Um, I get quite a lot of compliments when I wear this. So that's it there. And then my last lipstick is another Rimmel um, Last and Finish lipstick in Coral and Gold. I bought this last weekend and this is my new favourite lip colour. I have it on just now and it is beautiful. I love this so much. Um, it is an orange lipstick and everyone's like, I have seen it first, I was like, eh, do I really want to buy it? I mean, it's orange, am I really going to wear this? Am I going to get you juice out of it? Yes, I will, and I will definitely rebuy it. Um, I just love it so much. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but I think that it really suits me, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The last thing on my list of kind of like products that I really like is one of the Lancome Juicy Tubes, and um, this is just a sample size. And yep, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really have a name, it just says on the back Ultra Shine Hydrating Lip Gloss and it's um, orange and um, it comes out kind of like just a little tint to it and um, I can wear this over any lipstick or on its own. Now the next next products are products that I kind of don't really like and um, I kind of either like really regret buying them or Forget being like, I don't know, just forget kind of buying them and things. Yeah. Well, the first one is a number seven lipstick. The packaging and everything is lovely, like, it's really, really, really nice packaging. It's really like, I don't know, I just really like this packaging. Um, it's really like chic. And the colour is Divine. I've had number seven lipsticks before and they have been amazing. But just must just be the formula for this one or something about it that makes it I just don't like it because I find as the day goes on it separates and like you'll be left with no colour on your lip but like little traces of it like round the edges and like in like the little crevices of your lip which I don't like because it just makes your lips look really dry and you look when they're not so that's it there and the problem is that it is a beautiful colour and I absolutely love it but I just can't wear it because it separates and I'm like I need to reapply this constantly. The next one is uh, one of the Stay Glossy, um, Rimmel Stay Glossy lip glosses. I absolutely love Rimmel products but these lip glosses I just really don't like you know. Um, I like them and they look really nice when they first go on. But then they tend to separate and um, yeah I really like the wands and the colours are absolutely beautiful but they just kind of separate. I don't know if they separate on other people but they definitely do separate on my lips. That's the colour there. And again the other one, this is definitely, I do prefer this one, this one I can really kind of wear. Um, but again it does just kind of separate and the colour pre off on this one isn't as good as what I would have liked it to be compared to that one there. Oh by the way that colour was non-stop glamour and this is Stay My Rose. So compared to non-stop glamour it doesn't have as much colour payoff but this one doesn't separate as much so maybe it's that. And then the last one is something that you guys might be shocked at. I absolutely wanted to love and cherish and wear it all the time and I just it's a Chanel lip gloss and um yeah and it's in the colour 124 and it's the Leverage 
Let me try and say this. Saint-Long. I don't know. I think French should be able to say that. But, um, yeah. And I love it and it is absolutely gorgeous and it's the most beautiful coloured lip gloss and gives off the best colour peel off a lip gloss could ever give. But it separates really easily again and that disappoints me because wearing it on its own it separates easier than wearing it on top of a lipstick but to get its true colour you really need to wear it on so my camera stopped recording and um so yeah I was talking about the Chanel lip gloss and I can't remember the last thing I said but um yeah it separates really easily and if you guys have any ways of making me love this please tell me um or if you have found the same problem please let me know because I could write to Chanel and tell them that they're putting something in the lip glosses that makes them separate. Because um, you can um, email them on the website, on their actual the proper Chanel website about like problems and stuff like give feedback which I think is a really good thing. So yep, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'm glad to be back making videos again. Um, so yeah. Um, tell me below any tutorials or videos that you'd like to see um, because uh, I not only have a very small amount of subscribers but I like to make the videos that you want to see instead of just videos that I would like to make as well. So yeah I'll talk to you guys later and bye!